Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Michael B. I hope you are doing great today. If you're new to this channel, please consider to subscribe and or leave a comment. And while we are at it, smash that like button and the notification bell too. I will surely bring you more videos on simulation, survival and strategy games every week. If you've been here before, welcome back. Hello fellow farmers, welcome back to Old Timers Farm. Welcome back to this hardcore survival series, or at least survival. <laughs> if we can survive, we uh, haven't. We have uh, paid off a little bit of our loan the last time, 200,000, that was pretty awesome. Sold a lot of hemp, we got a quite a profit of that. Um, these sheep here, as for now, they're a pretty bad investment. I mean, they're just eating and uh, yeah, they're doing nothing. They're gaining a little weight and they're not uh, reproducing and they're not making wool. I mean, they had the whole summer for that, right? So I'm not, I, I don't know. Are you broke? Hmm? Are you broken? Yeah, I'm watching you. Exactly. So, today we have entered early autumn. And uh, we planted some uh, royal, uh, royal, oil seed rest dish over here on this field last time around. And look at this, pretty awesome. So that's gonna add another fertilizer stage when that time comes around. Been clearing uh, some of the trees down there. Gonna come to that in just a few seconds. And uh, yeah, uh, that's why we are a little, uh, little short of the money. I think I used eighty thousand on stuff. Um, else not much around we are gonna do a lot of logging today and uh, when we are uh, fiddling around with the logging and uh, it's completed that then we're gonna plant this field with grass that's the general idea so awesome pretty awesome right I've taken over here the uh, log trailer just to use it as a little uh, measurement of the logs uh, because I wanted to do it by hand, so uh, I'm running around with a chainsaw and cutting trees down over here, just the old-fashioned way as you used to do it. And uh, I found out that this leveler here, it can uh, also be used in the silo, but it's perfect to shove trees around. I mean, it's not really designed for it, but it works. It's pretty awesome, and it's cheap. So um, yeah, I'm doing the trees over here, and Anna, she is uh, over here in our least harvester got a little setup here we wanted to try out so backed up the uh, trailer to this uh, thing the gens ba 725 and uh, yeah we lease the uh, the komatsu and we're gonna chop down some trees and then we're gonna feed them directly into this going to make wood chips going into the trailer and then we can sell the wood chips because i was looking at the wood chips price and it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Three hundred forty-nine. That's that's uh, that's pretty good money for the wood chips. So I uh, wanted to test out if it pays off doing logs or it pays off doing wood chips. So that's pretty awesome. And we've taken a lot of trees down. Oh, all the all the higher uh, pine trees here. Uh, these ones we were gonna let them stay. And sooner or rather than later, I think we want to expand the fields. Not quite sure. Might be a might be a winter wintery thing. Depends on how cold it's gonna get. I'm not that sure. Right, shall we get started? Started with this. I'll start up here, working my way through some of the trees with a chainsaw. I found a neat little trick when a uh, I'm cutting down trees, of course you're gonna use the chainsaw to cut them down, then uh, most of the time, then you could do like this and just run over and it would take most of the branches, but that doesn't seem to work, that's so good anymore. Um, so what I'm doing is just kind of a 45 degrees angle on the trees, and then just do it like that, works out much much better at times. <laughs> and slow down the speed, player speed. Like that. Huh? Seems to work pretty alright. Yeah, and it's just one big mess here, are you not? Yes, you are. Uh, what's going on here? What is branches? What is, uh, what is the log? Hello? Ah. 
Very cool, that helped a little. Alright, taking this one. Where do you belong? Come from over here. I guess so. Uh -huh -huh. Ah, look at that. I mean, there's no doubt whether what is going to be the fastest way to get logs, right? Using the tree harvester, of course. But, uh, I mean, this is... Uh, if you uh, need money, then this is a very good way to uh, get a good profit, just with a chainsaw. Just, uh, well, it's kind of therapeutic, right? At least for me, just doing a lot of logging. Cool, awesome. Yeah, now we just uh, put it away. Now we just need this row here. I think we're going to take all of them. Maybe with the wood chips, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, let's see how much we can do with a little time lapse down here. Start you up and turn you on. There we go. And in order to get this to work, just might mention, I have to change your settings to um, auto magic engine start off. Because then it will keep on going when you in, once you in, uh, exit the uh, miracle, else it will shut off. Just a little hint for you there. Right, can we chop this tree down? Or it's gonna tip all over the place, I guess. The ladder, come on. Shoot. Okay, well. <coughs> yeah. Alright, just to scrape some paint off the tractor. I think that'll do. And I changed the length to one meter. Yes. So we can start cutting away. Perfect, look at that. Alright, I think we're gonna wrap it up for today. Been working pretty hard. And we've gotten pretty far, I should say. The uh, trailer's almost full. 
I know I have increased the capacity of the trailer just a little bit. But I mean, it's not something game breaking or cheating, it's just we don't have to drive so many trips back and forth. Oof. Little, make it a little more convenient for ourselves, right? It's gonna take this last tree here, and uh, I think it's been uh, it's been working out pretty well. This one, this little setup here, it's pretty cool. Once you get going, then uh, yeah, perfect. So what for tomorrow? Well, I think we're gonna do another round tomorrow, and then we're gonna well, we're gonna finish this tree up, and then we're gonna go to the sawmill and see how much we're gonna get for this uh, trailer full of wood chips. Yeah, I don't know what Anna she's doing. I kind of thinks she's uh, twerking. Uh, I don't know. No mind. Um. Just turn this bad boy off, and you as well. Oh yeah, that's the trick. Disconnect, and then turn on the tractor. I know, there's something going on. When you've got this attached, you can turn on and turn off the, the tractor. It's, uh, yeah, it's a little bit strange, but that's just, that's just the way it is. Right, let's go to the sawmill. Uh, it was the only place that took these wood chips, right? Uh, yes, sawmill. Alright, let's go to the sawmill. Let's see how much we're gonna get for this. Ah, 95% full. That's perfect. And which way is it again? Uh, downwards. That's right. Turn the lights on. Cover you up. Ah, almost then. Ah. Yeah, it's getting dark pretty fast here in the autumn. Forgot about that. Right, uh, wood chips, wood chips, wood chips. Where could that be? Oh, ooh. can't see nothing. Uh, gotta sell the wood chips. No. No, anybody want my wood chips? No. Oh. Ow! Ow! There we go. 71,000? That's pretty awesome. Well, I think we're gonna go down or go back to make some more wood chips. It's less than producing logs, I guess, but uh, it's way easier. Mm, way more convenient. So, uh,. Yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna work through cutting a lot more blocks and a lot more wood chips production tomorrow. I think I'll do that off recording. Very early next morning, and <laughs> it's gotta be the worst load of blocks I've ever made. It's terrible. Look at this. It's just ah, uh, yeah. Well, it was it was early. It was dark, and uh, many many bad excuses. Right. If you look at the money. Uh, creeping up to one million I went a little um, um, crazy so if you can find a tree left on the uh, the fields one and two I uh, I probably uh, owe you something a beer <laughs> everything is vacuum cleaned trust me right um, like that and uh, gonna go sell them mm, art 15,000! Yeah. We got a lot more for those wood chips. But, I mean, it was also an increased amount in the trailer, right? So, uh, it makes sense. But, uh, yeah, 1 million. And why don't we celebrate when we come back to the farm and try to buy another 100 sheep? No, not 100, 50 sheep. So, we're gonna get 100 sheep. Because they're doing nothing. I don't know if uh, it's gonna help increase the amount of them. But I would like them to reproduce. Give me some wool. Just something else than just gaining weight. I mean, it's good they're not starving and not dying. But, I mean, come on. Give me some wool. Need some money. More money. Yeah. So, um, 
we can pay off a little more of our debt. We can also expand to buy another field. Um, that is yet to be thought about. Right now, I think we should go back to the farm and uh, want to buy a little plow, and uh, so we can expand the field. And we also want to plant some grass. So I'm gonna keep off. Wow, that's a lot of trees cut down in there. Ooh. Maybe. Well, no, 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 no. When winter comes around, we can consider to uh, go crazy in the forest. Uh, right now, we need to attend some field work. Hey. Right, a little plow. And plant some grass. Yeah, I'm gonna keep off uh, spending all our money. I want to have a little money and spare for uh, some mowers and uh, and things we need to uh, to get the grass going. Buy the right stuff for once. <laughs> so uh, yeah, see you. Uh, see you in a few seconds. You. You escaped my attention. While wow, you little. Well, as you can see, um, yeah, a lot of trees have gone. All the pine trees at least. There's still some around in the farm yard we can chop down for, I don't know, when we get too overboard. But yeah, it was uh, quite a good good money right there. So yeah, at least that tree needs to go but sooner or later. Right, let's get over here. And actually I, I did put a little I put a little um, wood chip load, a trailer load, in the silo just to keep us back up. If everything goes completely bonkers, we can just sell off a little bit more of the wood chips. You know, it's it's always good to have on a on a very dark and rainy day. The bills are piling up. Go sell some wood chips. It's like eating ice cream when you're feeling sad. I'm sorry, right? That was a weird comparison. With chips and ice cream. N never mind. You you know what I mean. I hope. Anyways, um, let's uh, let's get this planter out. So dirty. Right, a planter. Uh, where's the planter? Where did I leave the planter now? Why do I always lose things? Um. Hello? Where's the planter? I'll put it over here. Ah. In its rightful place. Right. Tractor. On the field. <laughs> uh, right. This leveler here. It's really, uh. Really done. A good job. I mean, we can always use it if you're gonna have some silage or chaff that needs to be flattened out. But uh, as a log pusher, puller, well, more pusher. Oops. As a log pusher, it's perfect. I've been looking a little if we should get a second tractor, also for the money we have now, and I actually uh, I found a very good uh, choice, and I'm a little torn, to be frank. Uh, I was looking either at this, the MF8700, and then beef it up a little bit, uh, the 250, or we could go for the, where is it, the SCR Veltra, that's 350 horsepower, so we can even beef it up more too. Uh, what was it? Uh, not that one. This one. Yeah, so 400 horsepower. 300,000. 400 horsepower. I mean, that should do it, right? So, uh, I'm not sure. 400, yeah, 300,000. So, the Veltra is a little more expensive, but, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna think about it. I don't need it right now. Well, so... Right, let's see if we can uh, find some grass. 
That's just right there. We should have seed enough. Yeah, I think Anna, she's just checking the, uh, the soil texture, see if it's good enough. She looks happy and content. Why have you uh, not moved those tree stumps down? Or tree branches? Well, it's probably because it's my mess. You seriously want me to clean out that for myself? Sure. Well, I think we can do something like... Uh, Get this gone. <laughs> Neat little trick. So, what about you? You're just lying out here. Yeah, that's fine. Alright. Let's get some grass in the ground. I mean, we should be good to go, right? There's nothing uh, specific about grass. Well, you can plant it all the year round. Yeah, yes, yes, you can. Good. And what about the temperatures right now? Uh, there. What do they look like? Minimum, average, average. Yeah. Should be fine. Should be fine. Right. Let's go with the grass. And while that is running, we can take a little look at the plows. Uh, plows. Why can I never find the plows? We do. There. Just in front of my eyes. Yeah, we don't have that much to choose from. I'm liking to have more, so maybe we should grab a mud. But anyways, yeah, two and a half meters, that's not really four meters. Thinking of this one, because we like to mark out the areas, and we got the other plow we found, right? Oh, well, got for a very cheap price. So we could buy this one to mark out the areas that we want to expand. Um, that should make it a little more easy, because trying to make a make a field creation with this big flexi coil, yeah. Just think again. Mm. Yeah, go and invest in this one, I think. And color, hot pink. <laughs> uh, no. Um, yeah, just like that. Just like that. Perfect. Uh, how oh, hundred horsepower? Yes, hundred horsepower. Hmm. Eight hundred thousand. Well, we could pay off another three hundred. So we uh, down a little bit more. Should we do that? I think so. Let's do that. All the way down to five hundred thousand. Excellent. Then we still have seven hundred thousand, which gives us the opportunity to be able to buy another powerful tractor. I mean, she's, she's doing all right. She's doing all right. So it's getting late again, and uh, I think we might consider even to buy another trailer, because now we're a little in a little bit of a little bit of a pickle. pickle. That was difficult to say. Um, we need some clover for the sheep, but our trailer is full with hay that we bought last time. So um, yeah. There we go with a little bit of a clover. But I mean, we can always change the tip for... Uh, what was it? You grain door on the back. Should work fine. It's just a little ugh, complicated. Doing it like this. Way, oh, way. Oh, not much room, but let's try it. There we go. And <laughs> okay, let's do it like this. Should be possible. There we go. Yeah, I can't see anything. There we go. I think that's fine. Let's go out again. Perfect. Let's get over here. I haven't bought more sheep, so I want to wait a little. Don't want to waste the money. I mean, if we're going to buy 50 more, so we've got 100 sheep, and it still doesn't work, then it's just... Eh. 
Right. Fully loaded. Uh, we can just let the trader stay in here. Whoop, boink. And just take it over here. Nice and slowly. Sit here. I don't remember if we should have inside. This is just for water, right? Yeah, this is just water. Give some water. Hmm. Well, just gonna leave it here. Um, it doesn't say it took anything from the uh, hay bale. But if we go into the overview and take a look, it's full. Hmm. Well, anyways. Uh, yeah, we might need to clean up a little. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, hmm. We might need to consider some tractor with a front loader attachment. And I'm not really sure. Let's take a look here in the garage. Uh, owned items. This one. Can we p put on a... No, don't want to sell it. Uh, well, um, in that case... Case. <laughs> um, mm, no. Can't put... Can we put... Uh, no, we can't. No front attachment on this one. Mm. Darn it. Uh, how about the Veltra we were looking at? Uh, yeah, that should be this. Let's see, serious. Mm, that's the large one we were looking for. Yeah, that one. Can we... No. Ah. Ah. How about Mercy? Can you? Mm, no. Oh, bother rations. Do we really need some kind of a skid steer tail, tail handle? I mean, that's a lot of money, isn't it? Well, we got this. This turbo, this is 25,000. Hmm. That could actually be, uh... That could actually be a good investment, because then we can also get these pellets out of the way and undercover in there. Yeah, let's go buy that one. Let's go buy that one. I think it's a good investment. Just, yeah, pay an extra 300 for for uh, the rim color. That's fine. That's fine. Let's buy that one. Okay. And then we're going to need some implements. We're going to need uh, this one. And spears, pellet forks. Yeah. I think we're going to start with this one. Because in some cases, I think we're lucky that we actually can move things around with this one. Yeah. I'm going to start with this one. Yep, look at that. Quack, 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 quack. Excellent. Yeah, and we need to get the plow as well. Alright, Mike this down, you can go get the, uh, the plow. Yep, I think we're close at 8, so we just made it, I think. 57. 1958. And it's pitch black. It's dark now. We're closing. Or oh, first at nine. Huh, maybe it's first nine. Well, anyway, we made it. Right. Let's get back home. Get a little more light on this bad boy. And here we are with the new plow. Excellent. Yeah, and as she told me, she just went down to the shop and she bought a bell spike. <laughs> I think she kind of gave up on this one. Uh, it's also pretty difficult to manure, but uh, manure? It's also pretty difficult to to handle it. Um, so the spike is just, well, it's a spike. It's, it's a little more, uh, yeah, but better handling. Um, ugh, things are so dirty here, we really need to clean up. It's disgusting. Um, yeah, so what's up with you? I uh, think you may need to go have some rest. Yeah. I don't f you don't feel well, do you? Okay. Twitchy. Um, yeah, so that was a pretty good episode. I um, We got a lot of trees done. Got a lot of money. And uh, we saw get the grass sowed here on field 2. Yeah, I know it actually needed to be plowed. But 
when we are growing grass, I'm not really sure it matters. I'm not that sure. I know the fertilizer stage, that matters. Um, and we can also give it some time. I'm not really sure the plant stage apply to grass. I have to read about that a little bit. I kind of forgot. Um, field 1 over here needs some fertilizer too. So we got to do a lot of field work in the next episode. And yeah, what's up with those sheeps, right? I mean, they are happy and content. And oh, shizzles. We also need uh, a bucket. Well, how much is a bucket? The shop, the shop is still open. Uh, how much is a bucket? We just need a teeny tiny bucket. Uh, 1284. That's a strange number, isn't it? Um, can we get a little big, little bigger bucket? Like that one? 2000? Uh, yeah, 700. You know what? We're gonna buy it. It's ready. Until next time. Then we have a. Oh no. Oh, it should be red. No. Oh no. Oh, we can change. The, oh, we can change the color on the shovel. Oh. Well, I guess we're gonna get it in black then. <laughs> Never mind. Now we got a shovel. Good. And yeah, I don't know what's up with these sheeps. We better start producing something. Is it gonna make you into mutton? Yeah. I am. I thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. And until next time, then please take care, stay safe, and be cool. Bye.